Dudes and Foxy Dudettes, today we're going to get into the age-old question, Enemy versus Jade Black. Stay right here, we're going to tackle this topic once and for all. Hey guys, welcome back to The Well-Rounded Dude. My name is Chris, if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we cover a whole bunch of topics, trying to elevate you to that well-rounded status. Today, we're gonna to be discussing sunglasses, shades, glasses, all of the above. Uh, we're gonna be covering two of my personal favorite brands, Enemy and Jade Black. If you guys are in the know, you know that Enemy is founded by Aaron Marino, also known as Alpha M, who I've had the pleasure of meeting. And Jade Black is the product of Jose Zaniga of Teaching Men's Fashion. So let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so first and foremost, full disclaimer, we are an affiliate of both Enemy and Jade Black. Now, usually I have this rule about just picking one company over the other. That's usually what I do. Um, but there was a specific reason why I decided to go against that. Um, if you guys follow the T. Shanley vlog that Aaron does on Sundays, uh, he has been struggling with enemy shades. Uh, and it's been a little concerning for me. If I'm going to promote a brand, uh, I need to know that somebody's like fully into it, fully 100% committed, which I believe he's committed, but he just his comments have cast a doubt on the future of enemy so i have to look other places too not that enemy still isn't a great brand but that's the reason why we are affiliated with both enemy and jade black so let's talk about the good things about enemy uh the quality you can't beat the quality right uh under 95 dollars or about 95 dollars uh their shades have been amazing uh so much so i've own like five pairs <laughs> um, it didn't start off that way like planning on buying it it's just I bought my first pair which were the enemy twos if, if you guys don't remember the enemies come in at the time I, I made these two videos here I uh, only came in like three different styles now they're up to six uh, I have the enemy enemies bleh, enemies one through three these are the enemy ones uh, they're based off of a Wayfarer style. They are great. These aren't one of the pairs I, I wear on the regular, but they're still great. Uh, Italian acetate, Zeiss lenses. I love that the hinges, you know, they're spring-loaded hinges. They are really a great shade. You really can't go wrong with it. Uh, I, like I said, I love them all. These are the Enemy 2s. Uh, this is actually my second pair of the enemy twos the only reason why i got these is because these are polarized uh the other ones i have are look exactly the same but they're not polarized <laughs> i just love this style this much and even though i love it i don't wear these as often which is odd but yeah this is based off the club masters a great style okay and here we have the enemy threes these are the ones i wear the most uh just because they go with everything it just kind of works with whatever i i pull out of the closet they go really well with um, these are in the uh, black I have the enemy threes in silver also but between the silvers and the blacks those are the ones I wear the most uh, really great Zeiss lenses all the enemies do the spring hinge thing um, the newer styles do not have the Zeiss lenses the fives and the sixes that's one of the things that they have um, removed from the, the newer styles and the newer styles are going to be temporary uh, or at least limited to my understanding and that's kind of disappointing to be honest um, I get where Aaron's coming from but he has been having issues it's not the company's not where he wants to be he's talked about it on the T. Shanley vlog so he's changed up some things and uh, you know the, the fives and the sixes don't really appeal to me I'm sure they appeal to a lot of other guys and that's fine um, but I'll be sticking with the classic ones of what I've got, you know, the Zeiss lenses, spring loaded hinges. You know, I think that the Zeiss is the only thing that's really changed on the enemies, but it's still a very stylish shade. He's going for like a couple of different, um, you know, fashion forward styles, 
going forward is what he's mentioned and it, yeah it is what it is and here we get into the jade blacks now jade black is a little bit of, of a different story um, what enemy is going for now jade black has always been jade black has been the fashion forward line uh, the styles that you see uh, you got to grab them when you see them because they may not be around tomorrow. They're really good. Uh, they're priced affordably. They're they were originally under fifty dollars or around fifty dollars. I think with the state of the way the world is, I think they've gone up to like sixty bucks due to uh, you know raw materials and packaging and such. But um. You know, these are really high quality too. I mean, there's no Zeiss lenses. There's no, uh, there's no spring uh, hinges. I could do this, but I would break them and I don't want to. Uh, but still an all around good shape. Uh, it's a little bit harder to memorize like some of the names they give them. Like, I don't remember what these are called, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, I do know that they're based off of a Clubmaster. Uh, it's got tortoiseshell, not real tortoiseshell. Um, they might be Italian acetate too. I think they are, to be honest. Um, but, uh, you know, gold around the frames, you know, a very nice stylish shade. And, you know, compare that to the Enemy 2s. Uh, these are both classic styles, you know. Clubmasters are, are classic styles. These are both great shades. Um, you can't go wrong. But Fashion Forward is where Jade Black is. That's their, that's where they live. And I mean, as you can see with these, nice, very cool. I mean, you may think at first glance that they're club masters, but these are definitely not. But, or aviators for that matter. It kind of looks like a, a hybrid of both. But it's really cool. I love the detailing. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can see the detailing, see the, tortoiseshell that's on there as long as my face isn't in there um, and the shape of of the lenses but I mean this is where they're at they're at with uh, with fashion forward frames this was a pair that I didn't think I'd like as much as I did but it's very cool I love the the tint on them they're kind of like a bluish tint and again very thin thin frame and it is very cool. I love the the thickness around. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see the thickness up around here. It's just very cool and very unique to me. It's a great pair of shades. I've actually, you know, I wear these more than I thought I would. And I mean, these are pretty cool too. A little different. Smaller lenses, you know, I think these are really cool. And what's great about like some of the fashion forward ones is that they're unisex. So you can get them, or they can be unisex. You can get them for that boxy do that in your life, or you guys can share. You know, it can be, you know, one day you wear one pair, another day she wears that pair. Very cool. Now, where Jade Black has a leg up on Enemy is their blue light blocking frames. I've talked about these in a past video. You can see that here, but I really love these. I use these a lot. These are probably the Jade Blacks I use the most. Most of the day I'm on a computer screen or a phone screen, you know, I need these, <laughs> you know, so I, a lot of times I rock these and people will be like, oh, Chris, you wear gr glasses. I didn't know you did. And I'm like, no, man, I don't. These are blue light blocking frames. I don't wear glasses. I don't have prescription glasses. And that's a good point to talk about Enemy and Jade Black is that a lot of them you can take to your eye doctor and get, you know, your prescription lenses in the frames if you really like them, uh, which I would recommend doing. They're all very fashionable frames. Uh, I believe that the Enemy 3s, you cannot do that with. Uh, the, I think that's the only one and I don't know about the fives or the sixes to be honest those are very brand new at the filming of this video so I don't know if you can then they are pretty big too so I don't think you can uh, get your prescription frames or pre prescription lenses in those frames um, 
but that is something that you can do with most of the other frames that I mentioned here today. So in conclusion, which one? Enemy, Jade Black. Personally, I don't think you can go wrong with either company. Um, I do think that the enemy shades are just a little bit higher in quality, um, but you're, you're gonna be spending more. That's usually how it goes, right? You know, I've, I've loaned people my Jade Black and enemy shades to get a, a comparison. People who wear glasses normally, because like I said, I don't wear uh, prescription frames, and they were really impressed with the quality of enemy. Uh, they really did like the spring hinges. They, it felt like, you know, the glasses that they normally wear. Um, Jade Black, they liked. They did like them. Um, they didn't have any complaints. It's just they preferred Enemy a little bit more. And that is due to quality. So, again, it all depends on you. What you're willing to spend. What you're willing to invest. Um, you know, and the styles. Uh... Enemy has six styles. Jade Black has a ton. You know, there's like four or five here that I'm, I'm looking at, uh, including these. And, you know, because these do come in, in regular shades. And if you're looking for variety, go with Jade Black. If you're looking for a little bit better quality, go with Enemy. Uh, that being said, there are links down in the description to both. Um, I do not have a discount code for you for enemy, but I do have one for Jade Black. Uh, Well-rounded will save you 10%. And you know, what the, the hardest part for me is, as enemy was the shades that got me into sunglasses, that got me to like actually care about them. Cause beforehand I was just like, I can get like a $2 pair at Dollar General or something like that. And seeing of like what quality sunglasses can make you feel, how they feel in your face, I was really excited. But it's just with the latest, uh, you know, there's just the comments from Aaron Marino about uh, he doesn't know if he's going to continue it and he's giving it his last shot. And he did change the website. And again, that'll be linked down in the description. It's just, uh, it, you know, it, it's kind of hard to just continue to be behind it if, if he's not sure if he's gonna continue it. And uh, again, they're both great. You really can't go wrong. And I really hope that Enemy continues because it's been a great brand so far. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. So who wins this fight? It's kind of a draw, in my opinion. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Please be sure again to check out both Enemy and Jade Black. They're both great. There's really no need, guys. Have frames from both both sides. I do. <laughs> I just showed them to you in this video. So, uh, but please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the social media things. Ring the bell, help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to check out the wellrounderdude.com. Dude15 will save you 15% off your total purchase. We got some cool stuff over there, guys. We don't have shades yet, though, but, you know, that's why we have Enemy and Jade Black. And uh, be sure to check out the Wellrounded Dude podcast. Uh, it's available on most of the major platforms. All you got to do is talk to your smart device and ask it to play the Wellrounded Dude podcast. And uh, with that, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.